Hello artist friends, this is Mr. Smith with another art story for you guys today. This one is one of my favorites. It's The Dot by Mr. Peter H. Reynolds, who wrote the story Ish and also did this story. And this is one of my absolute favorite art stories in the world. Let's go ahead and give it a read together here. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. She got nothing done in art class. Has that ever happened to you? Sometimes it's hard to get started in art class and get to work. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. Mm, there. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. What did she put on her paper when she jabbed it with the marker? Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. And so she put her name on it. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her dot, all framed in swirly gold. There it is, the dot, in a nice fancy frame. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot, then blue mixed with red. She discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Uh -huh. So the white canvas left behind is the dot. And oh my gosh, she is. She's painting so big, she has to move it all on the floor. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. So look at all the people who are checking out Vashti's dots. And there's the, the white dot, and there's dots in a line, and mixed color dots, and medium dots, and even 3D sculpture dots, too. That's pretty cool. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Look at the focus. He's thinking really hard about drawing that line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, Please sign it. the end. So in this story, Miss Vashti, the artist, learned that she could be an artist just by making a mark. Her artwork didn't have to be exactly right, and she could grow from just making a mark on her paper. And then she shared that lesson with someone else. And I hope that we can learn from this story 
that sometimes we don't have to worry about whether or not we can or cannot do something. Sometimes we just have to make a mark and try and see where it takes us. So I hope that encourages you guys to be creative and I hope that you are making all kinds of cool things and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.